another one I threw together. I was testing on this coil. Smaller heat sinks, fan, and a thermal switch. So cut that one at uh, 30. So this is what it looks like when you tune it for slightly more branches. I'm just going to run it for a little while to show that it will run fine off these little heat sinks. So I'm going to cut it off. So the fan is running now, but it should shut off eventually. It's not the quickest recovering bimetal switch. Yeah, so it's been cold for a while now, but again, it's slow, slow to cut back off. Alright, so it just cut back off, and <clears throat> it takes quite a bit close to, you know, something close to 60 watts before that thing starts cutting off.
<clears throat> and it just cut back on. So again, um, and it's it's hardly warm. So you probably have to run in it like uh, probably about 120 watts or so over time before this gets too hot and that fan can't keep it cool. Of course, my, I keep not charging my battery, so that shuts off. But otherwise, it could easily take it. charge my battery but yeah um, little setup like that <clears throat> now probably what I should have done was put these drain capacitors on top with the fan blowing forward so those can get cooled also um, but if you use pretty good capacitors you probably don't have to worry these are going to drift over time because they get so hot and they're so damn cheap uh, but yeah, it seems like so long as you have good quality capacitors, all your connections are really good. I mean, it seems seems pretty solid. But to get them branching, I just move the coupling down. 